Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of the Wayfarer for Heretic on the Dowager Smite Meister difficulty. Played through GZ Doom. We are doing all levels with a wand start, and this is E1M5, the Serpent Pens. Let's begin. So, yeah, get a look at that time code. This is gonna take a while. But the first thing you wanna do is use this torch that isn't lit to go over here and grab the Might of Tysonia secret. Yeah, using that torch opens the door up. But, while you're here, you can probably lure some of these gargoyles around. And uh, try to get them into infights. And while you're at it, get some uh, thwacking action going on. It took a bit of damage, but it's fine. What you want to do is just make sure all the enemies are dead with the staff. You can grab this uh, Dragon Claw and this crossbow when you're done with everything. And while you're here, you can probably pick up some more ammo too. But you want to watch out for these undead warriors. We'll deal with them later, but we're going down here for now. Kill this one. And this Fire Gargoyle. This one too. Grab the silver shield since I'm tired of taking all the damage. The sun that warrior's gotta go, and now we're gonna finish off these gargoyles with the crossbow. Since it'll probably be a little bit harder to kill them with the uh, st staff. Alright, now let's grab some stuff here. There's a, a ghostly undead warrior here. We can't hit him with a staff. You can wand them, or if you find a gauntlet, shock them. But we're not doing that. We're gonna grab more time bombs. Grab more energy orbs. Get ready to fight two were dragons. I only woke up one, it seems. No, I woke up both of them. But that's fine, because uh, he came out just in time for his buddy to die. We'll use this. Quartz flask, good old sippy juice. And hammer down these undead warriors. Oh yeah, you're here, so. Let's dragon claw you. Staff this clink. Yeah, I call him a clink still. Just rolls off the tongue better than saber claw. <laughs> but this guy's dead. And that's pretty much all the enemies in this room. There's a Crystal Violet here, another Morphobum we can use. And while you're here, use this chain here to move this wall down. And you will get the second secret of the map. And it has lots of goodies in here. Lesser runes, another Morphobum, and some time bombs. Goody goody. So, you can go out here if you want. To fight these guys but instead what I'm gonna do is go over here and grab the uh, gauntlets but actually I won't grab them instead I'll just lure this guy out because he's got to go fast look at him go yeah uh, the serpent keeper he's a really fast dude isn't he and not only that but a serpent's here too Oh boy. Well, the name of the game is to not get hit. Surely we can do that, right? I mean, we have uh, plenty of health and a silver shield, but you still don't want to get hit by a serpent. And sometimes the serpents drop crystal vials, which is always nice. There's some tie bombs here, quiver of ethereal arrows, and two crystal vials. Wonderful. So let's go over here and check this place out. There's a Nitro Golem up there. Another one down here, a ghostly one. And there's some undead warriors up here, so let's finish them off. Then when you do that, a disciple will spawn immediately after you kill them. So you wanna make sure there are no enemies on the ground here so you can like prioritize the undead warriors. And of course, the Dragon Claw makes quick work of ghost enemies, so you, you can use that whenever you feel like it. 
Now let's kill this undead warrior. And of course, a disciple appears in his place. This one doesn't have a disciple. Some of them don't, but a lot of them do. Yeah, that one doesn't have one either. Alright, let's grab some ammo. There's a sigil of power there, dropped by a disciple. Sometimes you get them by chance, other times you don't. But, I tell you what. Let's clear out this area. Now, as you can see, there are plenty of nitro golems up there. But, we're focusing on the undead warriors. I mean, the nitro golems have the homing missiles, but... The undead warriors are in a much higher quantity. And the, uh... Homing missiles are surprisingly easy to dodge. They aren't, like, as quick as Revenant missiles, or as intense. I mean, they still home onto you, but... Yeah, there are some places you can dodge them. But... There's only two Undead Warriors here. Well, in this part of the map. We'll just get rid of them. Remember to... Use that look up and look down option, boys and girls, because uh, there's a lot of vertical verticality on this map. There's some disciples here too, who will be our next priority since they floated all the way over here. You want to get them out of your hair? Yeah, you see the Ophidians too, but we'll deal with them later. We're just getting rid of these guys. And the Dragonclaw can do quite a bit of damage to them if they aren't like floating away due to the knockback. You could also use the crossbow for the same purpose, but that also knocks them back. Yeah, and I think uh, GZ Doom has increased knockback, so... That's the price of playing the source port, but... The Wayfarer only works on Z-Doom's arrived source port, so... I kinda don't have a choice, really. But... We're killing everybody here. I think we got rid of all the Undead Warriors and the Disciples. Well, there's one left, so let's get rid of him. There it is. Now let's grab this stuff. And I think it might be about time we got rid of these Nitro Golems. So here's the plan. We're gonna drive by them with the uh, time bombs. And while we're at it, we'll use the crossbow. Yeah, come here. There it is. Look how lovely that explosion was. And also, you might have noticed how booming the... Uh, time bomb sound is. The Phoenix Rod also has a new explosion sound too, which is very nice to listen to, I think. I just ran into that big orange shot. But, these Ophidians, they gotta go too. I'm done with these snakes. Ooh, like I scared of little snake. Yeah, I'm channeling my inner wang for these guys. Alright, so this area is clear. And, uh... Let's go over here now. Now here's what happens when you go over here. We're gonna grab the sigil for this. Because look at all these disciples. Yeah, we're just deleting them. You can use the wand too. Heck, you can use a powered up crossbow. It's really good. And hey, look, another sigil. So, uh, while it doesn't extend the uh, duration, it kind of does at the same time because the, the sigil of powers duration is just really short. So we're just going to kill all these guys. Now, I'm not looking behind me, but as you can see, there are a few friends here that appeared when we went into this part of the map. And I think it might be about time to use the Chickenator. And of course the uh, 
poultry doesn't want to get flayed. Whatever. Well, I just ran right into that projectile, didn't I? But there are plenty of crystal vials here that you can grab. And, uh... Heck, let's use this now. Don't forget that the were dragons have 300 health, so it takes a while to uh, kill them. A little bit longer, at least. And hey, look. One of them dropped the ethereal arrows. That's wonderful. And yes, iron liches are here, too. Everyone's favorite enemy. But we can grab this. I think it's about time. And we can grab some runes, too. And some quartz flasks. Yeah, it's about time we grab those too, huh? Alright, you know the deal. We'll just spam this. We'll go into this area that opened up because it opened up when we came through here. There's another Morphobin we'll grab and you know what, I got hit again so I'll use both of those quartz flasks. Yeah, I, I like drinking that grape juice. That purple drank. And, uh, to circle strafe around this dork. This, uh, Iron Skull dork. And he's done -zo. So let's go back into here. And wait for this thing to disperse, since we don't have a Shadow Sphere to avoid it. Now let's kill this dork. And, uh, he doesn't spawn a, uh, disciple. But we'll kill these undead warriors here, in this cage. Yeah, I see you were, Dragon. I'll deal with you in a little bit. Alright, your time has come. The good thing about this place is that there are a lot of energy orbs, so you won't be needing too much on Dragon Claw ammo if you look around. Case in point, there's more over here. But we're using the Hell Staff, even though this is an upper area, to kill these Ophidians. I think that worked out pretty well. Okay, we might be back for this stuff later, but for now, we are going over here to press this button. Now what this button will do is get rid of those zappy walls. They don't hurt you or anything, they're just in the way. There are Ophidians here we can get rid of. And you know what? Nah, I gotta use the Dragon Claw. Gotta get that hit scan going. Yeah, sometimes the health staff isn't ideal for enemies on ledges. But if you have the upper ground, it'll be a lot more useful. But usually that isn't the case in like most situations. Yeah, either the upper or the upper ground or the ground being like even with your enemy. That's when the health staff is useful. Unless you have to deal with disciples of the sparrow where they're just floating in open arenas. Which is usually the case, because there are a lot of open arenas on this map. But sometimes they are a little more closed off than others. Case in point, when you go into here, and deal with all these dorks. We're gonna use the Dragon Claw to kill these guys up here. Specifically the Undead Warriors, at least. The ghostly ones, even. Yeah, because they're, they're all in them warriors. And you finish you off with a dragon claw. And grab some energy orbs. Thank goodness. Let's grab the Mystic Urn. And of course, this reveals, so let's get out of here real quick. Yeah, you got to narrowly dodge those uh, serpent fireballs if you want to get out of here. Yeah, like the Mankey Bus, the Serpent fires in a, like, peculiar uh, pattern. But it isn't completely like the Mankey Bus because it also th fires uh, three projectiles at some points. Yeah. And of course, the Disciples are here. Because they're always here. And uh, you know what? Yeah, let's use the Hell Staff on them. Demonstrate my earlier point that it's still good against these guys because they always find themselves in open spaces. 
And since we're on higher ground, slightly higher ground, it's also good against Iron Liches. But the Dragon Claw is also good too. Like I said, my overview video of the Dragon Claw, as well as an overview video on the Hell Sap, both of those weapons complement each other very nicely. But this area opened up, and it has some time bombs and a shadow sphere. Both good things to have. And we're low on wand ammo, so let's grab that geode. All right, with that's this place cleared out, we can go around and double check uh, these areas. Most of them are cleared out, but you know how it is. Let's grab this. It'll give us 100 ammo. 100 ammo we probably need for the next area. Alright, I believe most of the enemies here are dead. And with that, I believe the only place to go at this point is through this portal. Well, we'll grab this time bomb too. We haven't been using time bombs too much, but you never know. So let's go through the portal and get ready to deal with this encounter with the... Uh, a serpent here and another one over there and let's get some use out of that hell staff it's still good against uh, flying enemies that go into open spaces thanks to that uh, homing in property that it has now yeah it's both a benefit and a flaw a blessing and a curse if you will We'll just get rid of the big guys. And hey, look, the other serpent died to an infight, which is ideal. We'll go over here and get rid of these guys. The ghostly undead warriors. The Dragon Claw makes quick work of them, relatively speaking. But over here is a quiver. Some more hell staff ammo. You have to press the switch to open these two doors. And when you go into this area, you want to watch out because uh, you can grab another Might of Tysonius here. We'll probably do that when we're low on health because we already have the one from the secret. Because, you know how it is. Um, I think it only gives you 25 health. I could be wrong, but yeah, it's not exactly like a Berserker pack. That's what the Mystic Urn is for. Well, regarding the instant 100 health, that is. All right, so here's what happens when you press this switch. This opens up and it can take you back to here. But when you grab the green key, an ambush happens. So yeah, um, you look at that uh, Serpent Keeper. And let's just go over here and look at all these undead warriors. Ooh, yeah. That's what happens when you get close to a Serpent Keeper. He just slaps you with a thunderous sound that just like tells you that you got whacked, boy. We're using the Sigil Power to get rid of these Iron Liches because... Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. No, thank you. And you? You could probably morph open the Serpent Keepers, but I'm trying to be uh, efficient with some of my eggs. Well, speaking of eggs... Might use one now since we got a uh, extra one. And here's one over here, of course. Like I said, the Might of Tysonius doesn't 100% your health. I only hit one of Fidian. Are you kidding me? Whatever. It was an extra one. Alright, since I took a bit of damage, I think it's about time I use the Mystic Urn. Or maybe we'll try to survive this ordeal by spamming out the uh, Dragon Claw. Yeah, hit scan spam. And what do you know, it worked out. How about that? So let's grab some stuff here. Some ammo for the uh, Dragon Claw in particular. And we're back out here now. Where are we? No. You want to go over here instead. Because not only is there a Crystal Vial here and some more ammo, there's also the green door. We got the green key earlier, and it will take us to this area. 
Don't worry about being in this area too much because, uh, yeah, despite the lights turning on, there's not much to it. There's a bag of holding here, finally, and also an enchanted shield. Also, a switch you can press, and speaking of switches, press this one too. Well, it's not a switch, it's a wall, but still. You want to go into here? If you want to get this secret, with a mystic urn, a map scroll, and look at that quartz flask up there. I'll show you how to get that later. But we're going to go through this portal, which will take us back to here. And uh, endure the next section. Yes, look at all these uh, chaos serpents. So, as you may expect with health this low, the idea is not to get hit. I mean, we have an enchanted shield and that will protect you for like 75% of the damage you take. But still, we're at low health. Well, we were, but not anymore, thank goodness. Yeah, look, I just got protected so hard by that. But there's also a Phoenix Rod here, which we can use to great... to a great extent on these uh, serpents. Well, if we can aim the darn thing. Grab some more Flame Orbs, and if you press this... This lowers. So we are finally free from this whole ordeal. Not only did that set of pillars lower, but this one did too. Yeah, there were some here that are blocking your way. Now we can go out here and press this. And it will lower the yellow key. But nothing's ever easy, because when you grab the yellow key, this whole ordeal gets ready. All right, well, I think it's high time we grab that sigil, huh? Since this is such a wide open area, the Rippers can make quick work of most of these enemies, except the Iron Liches. Get out of my way. Uh, I just got hit by a Serpent Keeper, but we have a Quartz Blast, so it's not all that bad. I mean, yeah, it's still pretty bad, though. <laughs> so, don't get hit again. And you know what? We'll just hide a little bit. It's considering using the Shadow Spear, but some of these enemies are getting in the in fights, so it's not that bad. And there aren't too many Iron Liches here. So we can just delete them like so. Alright, come here. Come here. Both of you. Uh, of course, I only hit one, but it's fine. One's better than none. Yeah, the uh, Serpent Keepers are really tanky, so getting rid of them with the Morph of them is quite ideal. And of course, we'll hit scan the crap out of these guys. And these guys too, why not? grab the energy orb over here since I didn't earlier and you know what you get the crossbow and so did that disciple there it is one more iron lich I believe there it is now for the ophidians the rattling snakes up here yeah get blown up yeah, I like to use the Phoenix Rod on them. Because, uh, they drop Flame Orbs sometimes. However, in the Wayfarer, the Flame Orbs they drop only give you one ammo. Yeah, it's finally starting to be consistent. <laughs> but, whatever. We're all set. We got this Crystal Geode. And since we had the Back Black, or the Backpack even, I called it Back Black. It gives you more ammo. Or allows you to hold more ammo. So you can check around for any ammo that you may have missed if you haven't grabbed it at all. That's what I'm gonna do at least. Lots of wand ammo from all these dead uh, golems here. And I guess a flame orb from the dead uh, Ophidian, one of them at least. We have lots of mystic urns, but uh, you know how it is. We'll use them later. 
for more dire situations. We're gonna use this purple drank right now. Press this button and get ready for a fight. Yeah. Yeah. We'll use the sigil here and the crossbow since it fires so fast. It's just really good. But you only get cornered by the saber claws. Because even though they don't do too much damage, the uh, Serpent Keepers will, if you haven't dealt with them. Now, maybe it's a good time to use that egg. Yes, yes it is. Because one less Serpent Keeper is very ideal. Hey look, another bag of holding. I believe the Chaos Serpents can drop those too, but it's also pretty rare. And one more Serpent Keeper. One more big uh, brute fella. Just the chicken in the middle of the battle, it's just lovely. That's why I love this game, dude. Alright. We're using the health staff too, since it's got great spam ability. And hey, we got some crossbows out of the dead were dragons, so that's perfect. And some crystal vials are here too. Alright, so this whole area is cleared out, but one of these has a uh, switch, one of these bookshelves. I believe it's this one. Yes. Now it opens something over here that we'll see later on, but we gotta find the other switch. I believe it's over here. That switch opens this door up and allows us to go through here. Now we can open this up and go to this area. This area is a secret, and it's quite a weird one, to be quite honest. When you press this, it opens, or rather raises a set of, like, blocks you can go to. And pressing that will lower that set of pillars. Now, uh, when you go through here, it will take you to this area. And basically, this area has, uh, a bunch of, like, platforms. And, uh... The soul part is a little bit confusing. Well, a little bit. But, uh... There's a method to it that may require some usage of the torch. There's also another way we can get rid of this area or deal with it without using this elaborate puzzle here. Because, uh... Look here. When we turn on the torch and press one of these switches, and press one of this switch, one of these switches even. When we go back to this area, I believe some pillars rise up. And I think we pressed them all, so they uh, all rose up. There's a way to get through this without doing this whole puzzle. I believe pressing that switch may lower all of them. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, I'll show you how to deal with this puzzle in an easier way when the time comes. Use this wall to get the Wings of Wrath. And I'll show you how you can use those later. For now though, we're going into here and getting ready for this part. Oh boy, this part. It's quite an intimidating part because when you go into it and press this, one Molotar, two Molotar, and enemies spawn again. Yeah, you know how the deal is with Molotars. But, since this isn't Black Plague, they aren't as bad as, say, uh, yeah. It isn't Black Plague, so they aren't as bad. I mean, they'll still throw the occasional line of death, but... They do it less often, so... Yeah, it isn't that bad. It's a lot easier to dodge. Now you can fire Phoenix Rod shots at them. Since we don't have a Tome of Power, we can't Tome Gauntlet them. But the thing about that is, uh, their melee attack has knockback now, so... Even if we could Tome Gauntlet them, it wouldn't be ideal. Because, uh, yeah. If they use knockback, there's not much you can do regarding damage to them. Alright, so we're just gonna claw these guys down a bit. 
Yeah, we're getting hit by Ophidians, but we're dealing with the big kahunas first. Trying to avoid their wrath, for real. And they also charge less, too, so... I don't know if you know, but they're invulnerable when they charge. Oh, goodness, I don't want to get cornered by them. One down, one to go. There it is, perfect. Now let's use the Phoenix Rod on these dorks. Yeah, some might teleport in. That's wonderful, isn't it? But, we're going into here, get rid of this dork. Grab another flame orb or two. And, yep. There it is. Alright, let's press all of these. And now we can go through here. And this will take you straight to the exit. But we're not going to go through the exit because if you look at the map, we have kills and secrets to get. Yes, sir. We're going to get those. So let's go through here. Back into this area. And remember those wings of wrath? Yeah, it's about time we used those, isn't it? Let's go up here and grab the quartz flask. Then go up here and get this secret with the Tome of Power. And while we're here, let's go all the way back to this place. Well, not this place. There's another place. Yeah, we gotta be quick with this. All right, we gotta go all the way through here. Oh, goodness, I haven't pressed the switch, but that's fine, because we still have time. We're gonna fly through this area. Yeah, we're just skipping this whole puzzle using the Wings of Wrath. That's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of an easy way out, but still. It's a good way to get through this part without too much of a hassle. <laughs> so now that we press that switch, we can go through this portal. And this portal will take you to a special place. It will take you to this secret with a bunch of new enemies waiting for you. But let's use that Shadow Sphere, finally, because there are Iron Liches here, and plenty of Undead Warriors. And while we're at it, let's use that Tome of Power. Yes sir, this is great for hammering these guys down. Even the Iron Liches, they're no match for it. Just try not to get hit by their flames, and you'll be alright. Wanting these guys down, just for the heck of it. And if we look, that's all the enemies, but that's not all the secrets. We'll celebrate by shooting this, <laughs> because we killed them all. But, you want to press this, also press this. And this will raise up, but you can use it to lower it. And you want to go up here, because after pressing both of those, you'll be taken to this secret area. Now, what would this secret lead to? It leads to the secret exit. Yes, we are going into E1M9 now. But we're done with this level, and it took us 33 minutes. Goodness gracious, yeah, I told you about that time code, didn't I? But yeah, that was the Serpent Pens, and uh, it's a level. It's a lengthy one. And uh, the secret you see right there can be really tricky, but you know what? You can just fly to the area that you're supposed to use those uh, buttons on. <laughs> yeah, it's a real uh, get out of jail free card kind of thing. But you do have to use the Wings of Wrath to get up to that other secret with the Tome of Power and also to get that Quartz Flask if you want it. Yeah, it's a bit odd, but that's how you do it. Well, that's one of the ways you can do it, at least. But anyways, we are done with this level. Stay tuned for the next video, where we're going to the secret level of the Wayfarer. The Mystic Fountains of Crates. But until then, toodaloo.